guys and welcome to Minimalist Tech. Today's video will be about cable management for my case. So I'll be going over some tips and tricks and hopefully we'll be able to clean it up. So I'm using a Corsair 380T for which I get a lot of positive feedback. However, it seems to be discontinued, which is quite a bummer. Today's tips will be regarding this specific case, but they can mostly be applied to many other cases. Also, it has pretty much no place to hide your cables, so we'll have quite a challenge there. My build is already complete, but I bought a new cooler, which is the C7 from Cryorig, to replace my Corsair H60, and I have to pretty much tear down my whole PC. Now, I'm going for a way smaller cooler, and that may sound strange, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, as I'll explain why in my next video. I'll be mostly using Velcro cable ties for this tutorial, only issues that they're a bit too big for the zip tie hooks, so we'll cut them in two parts along the length of the strip, then we'll have to cut them the right length depending on the size of the cable we're trying to manage. First, some cleaning tips. For my dust filters, pressurized air cans don't work well usually, so I tend to use water on my dust filters, going the opposite way of the airflow. Make sure you dry them completely before reinstalling, I use a towel and it works great. So now let's start with the building process. So once you have your case, make sure all your fans are installed and connected to your fan controller if you have one. You can already manage the cables in that area if you want by hiding them in some kind of way. As these won't change much, you can use zip ties if it's too cramped to use velcro cable tie. In my case, I have three AF120 fans from Corsair, two at the front and one at the back. Then we'll install the motherboard and power supply. In my case, I didn't remove the power supply as it was free of dust, I only removed the modular cables. If your case doesn't give you access to the back of the motherboard, make sure your CPU cooler is installed first. In my case, I pre-installed the RAM and the CPU cooler. As for the power supply, I highly recommend getting a fully modular one. This will allow you to connect only the cables that are actually used and that will help with cable management. Less cables is always better. In my case, I have a Corsair RM650i with some custom sleeved cables from Cable Mod. These are really only for the looks, you can also get some cable combs that will help keeping them visually untangled. I will now plug the 24 pin connector as well as the 4 pin CPU cable in the motherboard trying to keep those cables untangled from each other. Both of them were too long, so I found a way to either reduce their length or guide them in a way that they do not take too much space. You can also plug all your case's cables like the power signals, USB and audio headers as well. I was able to attach most of them together as you can see, but in the end I decided to hide them behind my GPU, you'll see later. Now that it's done, you can install your GPU and your hard drives or SSDs. I'm using a single crucial 512GB SSD and a GTX 1070 for the win GPU from EVGA. The SSD requires a data cable as well as a power cable and the GPU requires two 8-pin connectors. I'll go ahead and connect those while trying to keep them as untangled as possible. Now that it's done, I attached the pair of power cables for my GPU together and was able to route them alongside the 24-pin motherboard cable. By attaching a few cables here and there, I was able to get a pretty clean looking case, with most cables only visible behind the GPU in the upper part of the case. I have to say that I'm pretty happy with the results, my PC was starting to get dusty and it's visually more pleasing than ever now. Now, if you have any questions about this topic, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Same thing for improvements or any other tips you'd like to share, I'll be more than happy to read them. As always, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe for more similar content and see you in the next video.